All right, the 19th album in the RCA Albums Collection, Elvis Heads South of the Border for Fun in Acapulco, uh, the soundtrack to the Paramount movie um, in which Elvis uh, uh, goes to the, uh, the uh, title, the titular uh, Acapulco in Mexico um, in the movie. He didn't actually go there when they filmed it, and that's, um, that's a whole other story we'll get into when we get into the, to the movie review. Um, but this one kind of comes off like a concept album as well, much in the way Blue Hawaii and King Creole did. Um, the best soundtracks for Elvis' movie uh, stuck to a theme. Um, even, even when you had uh, soundtracks like Loving You or Jailhouse Rock, where they were good rock and roll records, um, they weren't necessarily uh, themed in any way. Um, and these felt like albums that were con uh, conceptually whole. Um, e even before uh, concept albums were really a thing, and the Beatles really uh, drove that, and Johnny Cash drove that with, with um, uh, some of his releases in the 60s. Um, so Elvis's soundtracks, even though they get a lot of crap for having some not-as-good songs, there's one thing you can say about them. They were at least his most consistent albums. Um, even when you have like goofy songs, like in this one, there's there's um, there's no room to rumba in a sports car. I mean, you just say that out loud, and you go, "Really? That's a song." Um, I like it. It works. It's kind of groovy. Like it has like that kind of early '60s rumba groove. Um, but even though you have songs like that, at least they all sound like they're going for something. Um, and he even dabbles in, uh, in some Spanish in Guadalajara. Um, and uh, I've heard from other people that his Spanish is actually not that good in that song. I don't care. Um, it's not supposed to be. Um, it's fun in Acapulco. Like, have some fun, people. It's not nitpick in Acapulco. Um, so here I'm going to nitpick. Um, but not really. I mean, El Toro is a good song. Um, Mexico. Um, Margarita. Bullfighter was a lady. I mean, all these songs, they, they have that, that same kind of Mexican vibe. Um, stereotypically Mexican. Um, about the only one that's, that stands out as, as really different is Bossa Nova Baby, um, and even that is obviously very much influenced, but Bossa Nova Baby is the standout track on this, and I'm glad that it got some attention again um, when they uh, did Viva Elvis, and uh, it was featured in some of the Heineken uh, beer commercials, because um, Bossa Nova Baby is a really fun song, and it's if you watch the video on, on YouTube, um, it's a ton of fun. Like it, it looks like even he's having fun performing it. Um, there are two bonus songs, and this is one of the first of Elvis's soundtracks um, where they started the uh, the tradition of having bonus tracks, which were songs not from the movie um, that were recorded outside uh, that vein. Um, and there's, I, I see the benefit of doing that. Um, filling out the runtime. Um, the problem is, is that they get buried under the weight of whatever soundtrack they're on, and that becomes a problem later on, especially when you have. Um, well, we'll get to that. There, the, there's a lot of examples where it becomes a problem, but on this one, it's not that bad. Love me tonight and sure, slowly but surely, um, very much in the vein of what was on Potluck and something for everybody, kind of that early '60s pop sound. Um, they're good. You know, um, they're different from, from the rest of the album. The rest of the album works as kind of a, a concept album. And then you get two bonus extra early 60s Elvis pop songs. So, I mean, you can't really complain about that. Um, if you haven't heard from, from Fun in Acapulco, um, I definitely recommend giving it a listen. Um, as far as the movie's concerned, I can't say whether or not I'm going to recommend you see it, um, but I would recommend uh, that uh, you at least watch Boston Nova Baby, because that's a really good scene. Um, so that's, that's fun in Acapulco. Uh, one more left for today.